Hello everyone, The Flying Scotsman here, and welcome to this episode of The Flying Scotsman Christmas. Now in previous years, I've shown off a program called Christmas for Windows in a few versions. Christmas for Windows, as you're able to see here, is a suite of programs that help you to not only gussy up and decorate your Chris uh, desktop Christmas for Windows is a suite of programs that not only lets you decorate your desktop for Christmas, but it also has activities to keep the kids entertained in the run-up to the big day, and a few Christmas carols, as well as things like Christmas clip art, so that you can festive up that round-robin Christmas letter or any Christmas cards you may be trying to create. What I've not shown you, though, is this option here, Create a Christmas Card. Now, this is available in Windows Christmas for Windows 7 and 8, and I thought that we would have a look at that today. But, that's not all. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a Christmas card using this program, and then I'm going to send it to a friend who's going to open it up on their channel. Now, the kind of Christmas card, whoops, kind of Christmas card that um, is created is, takes the form of a screensaver. And the way that the program works is it will actually copy the screensaver, which you can personalize onto a floppy disk, which you can then give to a friend and they can install it. So... Without further ado, let's get started. So I have a diskette in the A drive. So what I need to do now is click continue. And now we're on to the screen where you can customize your screensaver. So let's write our own message. There we go. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to Billy and family. And he's going to uh, hopefully open it up on his channel, hopefully install it on one of his Packard belts. Now, this runs fine in Windows 3.1, but I'm guessing it would run fine on Windows 95 as well. Now, not only can we customize the message, we can also adjust the animation speed. Um, we can select the number of trees we would like, whether to show them, show the moon, show Santa, show the banner, or show the snow. I'm going to leave all that enabled. So I'm just going to click OK. And what's happening now is the diskette is being written. And of course, it comes with the Visual Basic runtimes it needs to actually make it work. Now, we are dealing with floppy disks here, so it's patience is of a virtue. That said, the program itself shouldn't be too large, so it shouldn't take too much longer to copy to the disk. There you go. Christmas for Windows gift card is done. Give the floppy disk to a friend and tell them to install it on their computer by running setup. Do you want to make another Christmas card on drive A? If yes, insert another blank formatted diskette into the drive and click yes. Otherwise, click no to end this program. Nope, I only want to create the one diskette. So, that is this week's episode of The Flying Scotsman's Christmas. It was short. I LOVED IT! <laughs> it was very short, and uh, some of you will be relieved about that. But there you go. So, I would suggest that if you want to see how this pans out, 
please check out the Nostalgia Molds channel at www.youtube.com forward slash the Nostalgia Mold. And subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified when he um, uploads um, his video of the screensaver. So, thank you very much for watching and please join me for the next episode of The Flying Scotsman Christmas. Cheerie bye.